Hi guys, welcome back. I wanted to follow up the ladder problem I, I did previously with 2.6, the related rates, with one similar from the homework here uh, with the cube. As you can see here, it says all edges of a cube are expanding at a rate of 3 centimeters per second. So the sides of this thing are expanding this way. Okay. So the, the sides are getting bigger which would mean that the volume is going to get bigger as well. So we have the rate of the side being 3 centimeters per second. So this rate right here is going to be 3 centimeters per second. Okay. So first thing we got to is how fast is the volume changing? Well, for the volume of a cube, again, we're going to be taking the derivative of a known formula. So the volume of a cube would be volume would be just x cubed. Now, probably thinking length times width times height, but since they're all the same, we know that we just call one side x, and therefore x times x times x gives you x cubed. And then what we normally do with the, with the related rate problem is we take the derivative of a known equation. So everything's with respect to time. So the derivative of the volume is going to be dv dt, and x cubed is going to be 3x squared dx dt. And since we want to know how fast the volume is changing, that means we're solving for dv dt right here, which means we hopefully should have all the other information. Well, how fast is the volume changing when each edge is 10 centimeters? So if, if we've got a 10 centimeter edge right here, we're going to wind up with dv dt equaling 3, 10 squared, and then dx dt is the rate at the sides are increasing, and that was 3 also, okay, for the rate at which the sides are expanding. So then our volume is changing at a rate of, well, that's 100 times 9. That's going to be a 900 centimeters cubed per second. So that was a, a basic one right there. And then if we wanted to expand this even more, so how fast is the surface area also changing? Well, the surface area of a cube, well, the area of one side is going to be x squared, because if again, if it's cubed, same side by same side. And then there's six sides to a cube, so the surface area is going to be 6x squared. So if we take the derivative of this, okay, we're going to have ds dt equaling 12x dx dt. And again, hopefully we know things that we have from the previous part, part of this. Well, the, the surface area is changing at a rate of 12 times and this was 10, and the dx dt was 3. So we're going to wind up with 3 times 12, 36, 10, so that's 360. So the surface area is changing at a rate of 360 centimeters squared per second. So quick problem, working at a cube, on how the volume is changing and how the surface area is changing. So hopefully that helps when you're going through and reviewing.